All right, let's get to it. The last prediction, the second to last predictions of the split. We still have major predictions to do, but it's the last European regional. Let's get into it. I got to figure out who some of these teams are at some point. I have no idea who this Novo team is, but I know they beat William Resolve to get in. Check out Adam on Twitter. He makes all this stuff. And yeah, um, here's teams. I'm going to go back and forth to this a lot because I'm going to need to. Um, there, there are some wild ads popping up in this video. I am. I don't know what's going on. Um, Carmine Core Wild. I know Wild is... Uh, I don't know Wild, actually. Wild is Tempo. Tempo was solid. I think this team was like supposed to be decent and then didn't really do well at the last event. Um, I don't think I predicted them to do very well last event. I, I think Carmine's just very good, though. We'll go 3-0. I'm not going to spend too much time breaking down all the teams that I don't know. Let's go over Nova, though, because uh, Mala, Dead, and Rukia, the last... Swedish player to make RLC an RLCS event, I believe, was Turbo. Um, unfortunately, he's not going to be getting any wins over BDS. General mates Moist. That's an exciting first round matchup. Surprised that Moist is this low, uh, but I think they lost in the double elimination phase. Um, I don't think Moist has it in them, but I will give them a close series because I do respect the players on that roster, and I think they are definitely better than they've been performing at this point. Uh, Magnifico Top Cougars. I know a lot of people are high on Top Cougars. I'm not seeing it as much. I know Ferris said they're a Top 18, but they have not been performing like it. I'll give the 3-1 in favor of Magnifico. Uh, Magnifico had a very solid event last time through, and I think they're going to continue that. Endpoint is back. Endpoint is that old Monkeys roster. I don't know if they made it to the last event. I can't remember. Um, but if they did, they didn't do anything. Um, and that's probably why I don't remember if they were there or not. Um... This one, Vitality will win. At some point, I feel like Vitality is going to get upset in Swiss, but I don't want to predict it in round one. That being said, I have predicted no upsets, and this is Europe, so clearly something is wrong. Um, Solary, I was talking on stream on whether or not Kidup would make a main event ever again. He did it the next day, so congrats to him. Um, he will lose to Oxygen. Uh, I'll give it a 3 out. Oxygen, I got, I got a lot of faith in Oxygen, and Ixo doesn't really care that I do, but uh, a lot of respect for his interview. That was a lot of fun. Um, Redemption four-wheel drive. I've been very high on Redemption the entire time. They made top eight in the last event, and I think they're going to continue their upwards trajectory and beat fast forward three to one. Um, Belly goal and team three. I think team three is the better team here. It's marked by eight, Catalyst and Rizex. Um, and I do like this team. I know they have speed. Everyone memes on speed because he's definitely like an older age player. But I know they've got the two young guns who are putting in a lot of work as well, and speed's looked pretty solid himself. Um, I'll give it a 3-2 in that case, but I'll put it in favor of Team 3, who are going to get crushed in the next round by Carmine Core. I'm sorry, I just I don't see it happening. I don't see many upsets. And this one is interesting because we've seen BDS and Gentlemates play twice the split. In the first series, it was 3-0 in favor of Gentlemates. And then in the second series, most recently, it was 4-1 in favor of BDS. I want it to be exciting. I want it to be an upset. BDS is going to drop the Gentlemates here. Um, Oxygen and Redemption. Um, this one feels like an upset brewing as well. I feel like I could see Oxygen losing that and then like Cash and Astral getting hyped that they go 2-0. Um, it feels almost Omelette-esque, if, if you get what I mean. Omelette made it to the 2-0 round in this most recent event, and I feel like they could. this Redemption team has a similar vibe and could do a similar thing. Magnifico Vitality. I'm going to do something fun here. I think I think Vitality lose this. Or I think Vitality win this. And I think they're going to win it comfortably. But I, I'll, I'll get to it. I'll get to what I'm thinking with Vitality later. Um, Belly Goal and Novo. I don't really know Novo. I'm sorry. I'm not familiar with their game. Moist not going to go 0-2 at this time. 3-0-ing wild. Please don't get upset if you get this matchup, Moist. Um, fast Forward and Solary. I don't really know. Who's on Fast Forward again? Compact, Asimus... Edge Bay, I don't know. And I know the players on Solary, except for Wrist Fox. I've never actually seen him play. Um, I'll give it a 3-1, though, because Fast Forward has made multiple main events. This is a stacked matchup for this 0-1 round. The fact that one of these teams is going to fall to 0-2 is wild. Um, and it's going to be Top Cougars. They did it last event and then almost bounced back to make the Top 8, so we'll see what they're able to do this time. Um, Carmayan Gentlemates. This is exciting. This is this is the streamer derby. It is. Um, I'll make it a 3-1, though. Carmine's just too good. Vitality Redemption. Uh, 
listen, I don't know if I'm actually going to make this prediction happen. At some point, actually, they have to lose in Swiss. They have to lose in Swiss. I think, I think this is where they lose in Swiss. I know I'm high on redemption, but here's what I see happening, Vitality. I'll just go ahead and explain it. We saw what happened with BDS last year when they failed to make it out of Swiss in the first fall event, and they failed to make the first major after winning the World Championship. Vitality are currently tied with Magnifico in points. I see a very realistic world where Vitality drop a series in Swiss that they're not supposed to drop, end up getting another top four French team in the quarterfinals and fall while either Oxygen or Magnifico make it to the semis and make it to the major over them. I genuinely believe that that is somehow going to happen. I think Vitality is still one of the best four teams, but I think the way the bracket's going to work out, they're going to get shafted as well. We'll see if the predictions actually end up that way, but that, that's what I'm calling. Um, BDS... I don't know why they're going to win four against Endpoint, but or Endpoint's going to get negative zero. I'm kind of wilding. 3-1 uh, here. I'm just going to start cruising through because I don't know as much about these matchups. 3-1 um, here. Uh, Moist will actually get a big win here against Team 3. Um, I know Team 3 went 1-3 and three last event, but Moist didn't make it. Both these teams were top eight in the first event. I'm, I'm hoping that Moist are able to do more damage in this event. Uh, Wild, I have no faith in you guys. No offense. Um, and I'll give, this is a good matchup for both of these teams to potentially get a win in the top 16, but I'll give it a 3-2 in favor of Solary. Vitality Moist. I'll go to a 3-2 here. And this, this is going to happen. It's going to. Um, BDS and Oxygen. Oh, these are some stacked 3-1 and one matches. Oh my gosh. Um, I'll give this a 3-1. And then... A 3-2. Does that work out? I have to do these matchups first. Um, Belly Goal is going to beat Solary this time. Top Cougars doing the reverse sweep. This is a stacked matchup, but Team 3 is going to fall again in a game 5. And yeah, this works out. I don't know if... I, or it's Vitality Gentlemates again. I don't think I can warp this enough where BDS ends up being the 5 seed. But, I mean, Vitality Gentlemates works out just fine. Um, Moist and Top Cougars, both these teams would love this match. It's a high-profile matchup to see who makes it. Um, actually, a lot of these matchups are bangers. Um, I will have Moist winning in a 3-2 matchup there. Top Cougars just barely miss out. That's very similar to what they did last event. Um, Magnifico keep themselves in the running. Um, I do like the endpoint squad, so I'll give them five. And then Belly Goal seem cursed to be losing in this uh, two three matchup, so they will end up falling there. We got a nice rainbow of Europe. I like how many colors we have in Europe. Anyways, um, wow, it didn't work out the way I thought because now it's Oxygen and Magnifico are getting kind of bracketed here. But I don't think there's any kind of escape. Like, it has to be, like, they'd have to face the 7 seed. And the way it worked out is a 7. If this is a 3-0, it does change things around. As if it's a 3-1, it doesn't. Um, that's a 3-1, though, and this is a 3-2. No, 3-1. I don't want to edit, like, what I'm predicting too much. But at the same time, it does have to work out, you know? Um, and and this, is, this is a world where... I could see it ending up like this. So Magnifico will end up falling to Carmine 4-1 to one here. Um, actually, it's a 4 out. Let's not give them the pity game. No offense to Magnifico, but it's Carmine Core. Um, this will be a 4-3 again, and it will be in favor of Gentlemates. And then this will be a 4-2. Um, sorry to the fans, <laughs> as Hikso would say. And then 4-1. And then if we get into the points rankings, we see Vitality end up missing out. And I'm going to be honest, I don't want to see it happen. I want to see Vitality at this major. I think it'd be absolutely wild if they miss somehow. But I saw what happened with BDS last year, and we thought it was impossible then. And a lot of people are thinking it's impossible now. Like, you've heard Rise on First Touch. You've heard multiple people come out and say, yeah, I know they're struggling, but I don't see a world where they don't get it together. 
there's definitely a world where they don't get it together. We said the same thing after two events about BDS last year. And it's insane to think about. It's insane to even picture a world where the reigning world champions who went on a perfect split don't make the major. But it's one result away from happening. It's one loss in Swiss. That's how brutal this format is. So, yeah, I did kind of warp the bracket to end up working out a little bit better than a lot of people. Then, But, like, it, it's very realistic. It's very realistic, and I did not throw as many upsets as I could have for what Europe ends up being. Um, streamer Bowl, or Streamer Derby. I, I say Bowl because I'm an American, but it is a Derby, I guess. 4-2 um, this time in favor of Carmine Core. Um, I'll give Oxygen the two games as well, and then Carmine BDS. I won't give him the perfect split. I'm going to be a hater. I got BDS winning this one. Um, I think I had Vitality winning the Or no, I had, I had Vitality losing. I had Carmine winning. Um, but it's very difficult to pull off a perfect split. We just saw um, G2 come up short. Um, the only team we've ever seen do it is Vitality. Um, Carmine are making their own push. Carmine have been a Game 7 overtime away from a perfect split back in the winter before Vitality did it. So this will be their chance to try to do it themselves, and I think they're going to come up just short. I mean, we've seen two Game 7s between Carmine and BDS. I think we'll see a third in the finals, and I think this time it will go to BDS. Jolly will get his first main event win. And yeah, let's see how the points break down. We have Gentlemates and Oxygen at the LAN. And Europe's going to Europe, man. Uh, we'd be missing out on another tiebreaker by the fact that the fifth spot goes away. I know if we saw North American this weekend, we would have had a four-way tiebreaker for that fifth spot, which would have been absolutely insane. But I have rambled on for long enough. That's how I believe Europe will shake out. I know I went through, made some weird changes to kind of organize how I wanted the playoffs to go. But if this Vitality thing actually comes real, it's going to be a bummer. It's going to be a bummer. And I genuinely hope I'm wrong, but... A lot of people are saying this world is impossible, and I'm here to tell you it's definitely not impossible. So we'll see what happens on this weekend. Um, and yeah, adios.